Good morning, ESM. Today is a one, day 1-3, one, and it's the day after Election Day, so I think we're all pretty anxious. So let's get to Sophie with the news stories. Yesterday morning, during the first throes of Election Day, a Jewish cemetery was vandalized with pro-Trump messages. The small cemetery in Grand Rapids, Michigan, had many headstones spray-painted just several hours before a Trump rally. MAGA and Trump were spelled in bright red spray paint across the stones. According to local police, there are no leads so far due to the cemetery is way out of place, but they're assuming that the vandalism happened sometime in the last three to five days. Many Jewish people are stating that this is the importance of the impeding election. The community stated, we will head to the polls to vote against this president and the hated violence and anti-Semitism he so callously incites. Joe Biden has won on Daga County in the pre presidential election by about 15,000 votes. Biden beat President Donald Trump at 52.9% to 44.5%. Although Biden has won the county, mail-in ballots are still being ca counted across the country, and the official election results could take a few more days. At the moment, Biden has 238 electoral votes, and Trump has 213. Biden is also currently winning the popular vote. However, Trump still maintains the marginal leads in Michigan and Pennsylvania, two vital electoral college states. Across the region, Central New Yorkers have voted for this year's election, and Congressman John Katko has beat Dana Bolter for Congress. However, the absentee ballots will not be counted until November 9th. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. with liberty and justice for all. And if you would like to order a class ring or a new uh, yearbook, <laughs> a class Netflix uh, representation represented uh, from Harif Jones will be here Monday, November 9th and Thursday, November 12th during lunches. There are also flyers in the large cafe. If you have any other questions, please see Mrs. Recor in the welcome booth. Students, when you enter the school in the D-Wing or through the front doors, you must sit in the cafeteria until the announcement is made for the first block, unless you are in the TV news class. If you enter the Hall of Fame and you are not going to breakfast in the cafeteria, you are to remain in the small gymnasium until the first block announcement is made. Today, it's going to be pretty nice out, so after Monday, it's a lot better. Today, we have a high of 61 with a low of 46 with slight breezes throughout the day, but overall, it's going to be pretty Sunday. Thursday, Friday, Thursday and Friday are going to pick up and be a bit warmer with a high of 60, 66 degrees, a high of 62 degrees, and both lows in the 46. Saturday and Sunday will be even warmer with highs in the with highs of 66 and 67, with lows of 43 and 44. Monday and Tuesday are going to be unseasonably high, with a high of 70 and 73, with lows uh, with a low of 53. I'm Grayson with your weather. never want to hear again are an overwhelming number of you never want to hear we will all get through this together and today's matchup in the last in our 16 is distance learning versus COVID-19 head over to our Twitter feed and place your vote now on to Aiden with sports in upcoming games facing JD the girls will be home and the boys away. They will both be streamed on YouTube if you want to check it out. 
The field hockey team lost 4-1 to to FM. Jenna Orlando scored ESM's only goal. In NFL news, on Monday night, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers survived against the New York Giants 25-23. to Tom Brady threw for 28-40 to for 279 yards and two touchdowns. I'm Aiden with your sports. So I hope you got a little bit of your, answer, um, your answers from our show today in the news, and I hope everything hopefully stays the same, you know what I mean? Um, just not too crazy. Um, so I'm Bella with your news, and have a great day.